Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jakub Vanish and today I'm going to be talking about Simulon, uh, which is a new tool that lets you basically add hyper realistic objects to your environment just using your phone. It's it's really mind blowing guys. So first let's take a look at uh, how it is done, uh, what you need to do with your phone. This is going to be explained on the video here. Uh, so let's take a look into this and then later on we're going to be uh, checking some super wild and impressive examples uh, from, from the people on the internet. So let's get right into things. So in this first video, we can basically see um, th this This was the end product, right? We saw some kind of a lizard man, but you start with the scanning. You need to scan the whole environment with your phone or tablet, something with the LiDAR sensor. Um, you also need to scan, you can see the lighting conditions. Um, and then uh, what you can do is uh, you're going to be start adding basically these objects. Okay, so here you can see how it is already mapped out in in this software. Uh, there are some objects that are already there. You can scale them uh, up or down. Okay, so this doesn't look all that impressive uh, when you're recording it, but the, the actual final render, which we're seeing right now, is really, really super detailed and super good. I'm I'm really impressed because this is some Hollywood quality CGI, right? And you can really scale it. Look at even the shadows. All of this looks impressive as hell, right? So again, from the beginning to the render, the shadows, the, the reflections, everything looks absolutely great. Um, and uh, you will see in the later examples that I'll be showing you how incredible you know this technology really is uh, this has really a potential to 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 change quite a lot of things right now in the internet industry so let's take a look at these examples that we see here first we have a pair of muhammad ali's gloves that are brought to life and look at this like if somebody sends you this video you have almost no way of recognizing that this is this is you know just made up that this is generated that this is not something that you know that these gloves are not there uh, look at the again the lighting and the shadows it's just incredible in the second video we're looking at a porsche a porsche uh, a black one but again great reflections um, I don't know, here it's a little bit more uncanny maybe because of these reflections seem to be a little bit more exaggerated, but still, um, the way it is able to interact with reality is definitely going to uh, change the, the, the way that we are viewing the video content online forever. In the third example, we're looking at a bunch of consoles. So here, PlayStation, and there, um, there is a computer. Um, so... Again, they are scaled up, they're massive, they're like two meters wide or something like that. But but uh, again, looking super, super impressive and rendered. In the next one, this is more for, let's say, Jurassic Park fans. Look at how it is actually reacting to the light that is coming through, uh, through this object, you know, with the, um, yeah, with the, with the little uh, mosquito. So again, I'm just really blown away by this to be honest in the third one we have a little dragon but again remember you can scale it up or down so this is this is a baby dragon but you can make it as big as a uh, as a building right so uh, again just the scales on the skin and everything looks uh, really really great and uh, in the next one we're having uh, an object uh, a wooden let's say plane but here basically what the video uh, what this video is showing us is that you know it stays locked in place no matter you know how shaky your uh, uh, your video content is it's it's locked there uh, just hovering above the table um, yeah just just incredible stuff guys I am really blown away in the next one we're looking at uh, <laughs> an objects from one of my favorite uh, video games uh, it's from Death Stranding and it's the BB um, so yeah, again, uh, here, because it's translucent and transparent, you can see the light, you can even see the cat behind it. Um, I, I think this cat is real. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not even sure right now. Maybe this was also added and scanned in into the picture. This one I think is the most incredible, especially because of the shadows, this kind of transformer ro robot that is, you know, passing by just, just the shadows of all the leaves and, and branches how it's generated is 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 wild to me 
in the next one also super wild footage this is uh this is a, a nintendo um game boy right game boy advance i believe or game boy color no it's actually not color it's this translucent version but look at this it's just again the reflection um it, it looks 100 percent real to me i'm i'm really i'm really liking what i'm seeing here here, this is what I was talking about, the scale. Okay, it's a little bit of a pity that this is such a shaky footage, but again, you have this huge giant mech. And again, the lighting is just correct. Um, I think, you know, this will allow people, especially the creators online or, you know, aspiring directors to create something new and incredible uh, with this. Uh, here we have a like like a fight scene. Uh, this is a robot from Star Wars, and they're in some parking garage. But again, very very nice and very impressive. So let me know what you think about this, guys, in the comments. This this kind of technology is really here to stay. Uh, combined with AI, you know, uh, generated stuff like Sora, I think uh, we're in really for some interesting, you know, uh, let's say experiments uh, in the future. Um, basically this type of technology with Simulon, it starts with uh, setting up a scene, you set the location, lighting conditions and capture the light map with a few turns just around and after that you can capture the environment mesh using the LiDAR scanner. So you need a LiDAR scanner and not every phone has it. So for example, you know, iPhone, since I think iPhone 13, always the pro version, they, they have it. Um, so that, that should be enough. And that's the moment that the fun begins. You can bring in your 3D models with animations and capture a video um, basically of up to, uh, I think, what, like 45 seconds or 50 seconds or one minute uh, using the AR preview on your screen. So you will see where it's gonna be placed. And after that is done, you send the footage to the cloud and in a couple minutes you get it back with this you know, rendered incredible looking CGI shot. And that's just really the beginning because we'll see in the future how all of this is integrated with, uh, you know, software like Blender or any other, you know, VFX workflow. Uh, though we need to bear in mind, this is still basically in early access. So uh, when this is this is going public, uh, we'll see quite a lot of wild examples of, of this stuff. And I personally cannot wait to get my hands, uh, you know, on this. This this looks really, really great. And I'm quite frankly, I'm, I'm impressed. Like I, I am, I didn't expect it, uh, this to look so good. So um, unless, you know, there is, I don't know, 1000 developers behind this. Uh, somewhere in the uh, Indian data center. J remember, just like what happened with Amazon Go Shops, right? They, they found out that there was uh, thousands of people <laughs> just basically uh, outsourced cashiers that were not in the shop with you, but they were watching the cameras. You know, in this case, it could also be that you upload the video because it's in early access and just a few people tried it. And uh, some thousand, you know, designers and developers are immediately on it and shot by shot, frame by frame, they will recreate your video. But I don't think that this that case. I think this is this is real and uh, yeah it's it's great guys so uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments so leave a like uh, if you like uh, this type of content feel free to subscribe otherwise uh, I wish you a great day and enjoy bye bye